Hello lovelies, how are we? I'm in a car park but not in a crematorium at the moment. I'm on my way between commitments, you know how it is. It's Leslie, not quite enough. I've no idea. How are we? Hope everyone's okay. Thanks for all your comments and thoughts from last week's video, including all the I think perfectly justifiable criticism of himself for not bringing me home anything from his trip. I'm not that mercenary, really, I promise. <laughs> so how is life treating you all? Oh, I'm steaming up here. Oh, I say. Yes, it's mild but very windy here at the moment. So, uh, so if you're out in it, it feels a lot colder. And then as soon as you come back in from it, you think, oh... That took more energy than I realised. Uh, hey ho. So yesterday was uh, my retreat day. We ended up being a small group. They'd had a couple of people pull out um, on Saturday. But it worked well. Um, the lady whose house it's in, I mean, it's a big house, there's plenty of space. But it meant we had plenty of time just to kind of be and to do our own thing. And some people were reading and some were walking in her garden some were doing like colouring and I'd taken crochet, you know, so it was really nice just to spend time chillaxing in companionable silence because it was a silent retreat from, I think we started the silence at 11 until about 3.30 and it just kind of slows everything down. You don't have any of that pressure for small talk. Um, you can just be and you can kind of smile at each other and wave the way if they're going in front of you and that sort of thing but you don't have to keep up the chatter it helps the mind to to calm and clear which was a good thing all oh, this light's gone a bit funny sorry just the way the sun's coming in no saturday i was hospital visiting our um family member has now moved to another hospital which is the uh, national center for excellent to excellence to give them the treatment and the therapy they need which is fantastic and we are so delighted that they're there uh, but it does mean that it's just under a three hour drive away could be a lot more you know <laughs> could be a lot worse but um yeah so that's uh, that's that but they're there they're settled they're being exhausted by physiotherapists that's what we need so so that's all good um probably going to be there for quite some time uh, just you know long haul as it has been all along but they are absolutely in the right place and yeah i just got to keep supporting visiting when we can and hoping they get as well as possible so so yes it's all going on still that's uh but yeah, they seem quite chipper, which is good. Oh. So yes, that, that was the weekend. So big sort of chunks of time tied up. But uh, but that's okay. That's fine. Still fairly busy with work. Um, so lots to do at the moment. I've just been to a cafe, got a coffee and a sandwich for lunch and sat there kind of working on a piece of work for tomorrow so it never ends but that's okay that's what we do <laughs> hope you're all okay hope the weather is treating you kindly and i'll catch up with you later in the week cheers bye bye hello lovelies we're at the crematorium today i have a special guest it is my mate Mandy. Hello. <laughs> Who just said she's gone all silly at the thought of being on the vlog. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll cut some of this. <laughs> I'd cut it all if I were you. So, Mandy, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, looking forward to your performance today. Yes, I should perhaps explain that uh, the reason why Mandy is with me is that... Uh, I'm conducting the ceremony of the partner of a colleague of ours, former colleague of ours. So uh, I'm here because it's my job. Mandy's here because she's a nice person. So. I think that's pushing it. Which bit? <laughs> the nice. Okay. 
Oh, there we go. So, Mandy's here because she's a cow. I don't know. I mean, I just felt I had to. Yeah. No, that makes sense. So yes, yeah, so I have a a guest for this week's vlog. So, do you want to share any? I should have thoughts? brought some crafting with me. Yes. What would you have brought? I could have brought. I could have brought the cushion covers on my settee mm -hmm. where it's ripped and I need to sew in a piece. Ah, there you go. I could have sat there and here and done that. Yeah. Oh, I've got some crochet here if you want to have a go. No. No, okay. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, so. Definitely not. So here we have a very special edition of the vlog, Not Crafting with Mandy. Who one day has just told me she's going to come up to the crematorium. Well, this is also the cemetery as well. Uh, while I'm taking a ceremony and have a look around with binoculars. Oh, well. Hey, I'll do a sweeping shoot. I've just been told to do a sweeping shoot. Um, I'm not sure it's much of a sweep. But this is actually quite a large cemetery. There's a couple of acres up here. So she's going to come up with binoculars and go bird watching. It's a bird haven. There is sometimes a cat here as well. That makes it less of a bird haven, obviously. That's okay. But um, yeah, I he's could obviously go puss not hunting. here today. Yeah, you might want to rethink that. <laughs> I'd like to apologise for Mandy lowering the tone. Obviously, I will have a word with her later about taking my job. <laughs> <laughs> and Mandy's looking very smart today. She was a little bit worried about leaving her house because someone was painting. They're painting in white. She's all in black, but it the, it passed without incident. It did. So we're grateful for that. It did. I manoeuvred round the scaffolding with ease. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, considering her age, she's quite nimble. Yeah. Oh, when I need to be. Yeah. You'll be surprised. Yeah, absolutely. And we're planning a day out together at uh, Great Dixter in the spring. We certainly are. Yeah. And what would you like to see at Great Dixter? Well, hopefully some flowers. That would be nice. Great Dixter is a house a garden. and garden near us, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm thinking flower beds with lovely things in. Excellent. We'll probably be there. Marvellous. And what about the gardener that you have a, an admiration for? Fergus. Fergus. She fangirls Fergus a bit. We turned up once, we were parking, and suddenly all I could hear was, Fergus, Fergus! That was an exaggeration. He was picking up a dead bird, wasn't he? I don't remember. But the buzzer did I was trying come. to park at the time. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So the gardener's duties are manifold. Apparently you have to pick up... That was the day well. there was um, the plant fair. Yes. And we saw that actress, Amanda, was in Silent Witness. Um, and she played a doctor with Kevin Waitley in something. She turns up now and again. Amanda. Amanda. Don't know. Yeah, I can picture her, but I can't think of her name. Yeah. As you can probably hear, it's persistently raining. It was bright sunshine this morning, and now it's soggy. So I stopped recording. I told you it would be early. Yes, I know you did. But you're bored already, aren't you? And I you? thought I could cope. Yeah. And how long does the ceremony last? About half an hour. It is, it will be the full half an hour. Possibly, I might even overrun on this one. Depends how quickly I speak. Yeah. So Mandy's got to put up with me for a couple of hours. Do you know what? Um, I said to you I'd probably sob like <laughs> all the way through it. <laughs> I might have to edit that. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the Great Pottery Throwdown last night. Oh, was it the final? Yeah, and cried at the end of that. Okay. I watched the final episode of Endeavour. And cried at the end of that. Oh, I haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but presumably he can't die because he goes on to be Morse. Yeah, of course he does. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So do you feel that you're cried out or do you think that you're... No, I think you're he's up a tap. I mean, I'm... Yeah. You, you're getting in the habit, you're practising. The co-op were advertising for a funeral person the other day. What sort of funeral person? An operative? I think... I can't remember what the title was. Yeah. Operatives are the drivers and bearers. No, it was in the... A ranger? Yeah. Yes. Funeral arranger. Was that in one of the local offices? Don't know. Right. Thinking of applying? No. Okay. I think you'd be very compassionate. I probably would be. I think it is still there in me to be compassionate, so yeah, I think that would be fine. Just not with me? Um, just <laughs> yeah, well, it's just wearing thin now after all these years. Fair enough. I'm trying my best, but it is all going now. Yeah, fair enough. lovelies it's now friday uh just a quick follow-up to the last clip mandy did shed a tear uh, at the funeral or as it was described to me later les made her cry seems a bit harsh um i think it was last week possibly the week before time has no meaning um i was unpicking some yarn and for some reason i feel a need to work it out pretty quickly I don't want it to marinate in the stash for as long as it did the first time. And I have decided to make the Harvest Cardigan by Tin Can Knits. I have no real business casting on another garment. I'm not going to have any finished objects this month. Only deconstructed ones. But it doesn't matter. We knit because we want to knit or crochet or, you know, whatever the things we do. Not a race, not a competition. But I'm going to make the harvest with that yarn. I've already modified it. <laughs> I'm gonna do more of a shawl collar. So you've got this nice wide band, which is worked as part of the, the garment for some of it. It's quite an interesting construction. Um, I'm going to do a slightly shawl collar, so I'm gonna widen this uh, as it's knitted. But yeah. Harvest by Tin Can Knits will be my next cast on once I've balled up all those uh, skeins of yarn that I unpicked. So. That is it for this week. Um, what have we got coming up this week? More of the same. Hospital visiting at the weekend and working. Bit of a theme for this year, isn't there? I did do drum practice on Monday. That was good fun. It was nice to do. It was... Uh, it's, it's one of those things that you first go in, you think, oh, I can't remember any of the tunes, I can't remember what we do, but then once you start playing, it all comes back to me. Um, so, yeah, that was good fun. Although, interestingly, you would think that it would be the wrists, the arms, but because we were all standing around for a while, it was like, oh, my knees, my back, my hips. <laughs> we're, not, uh, we're not procession fit yet, let's put it that way. But it was nice to see folks and a good catch up and uh, nice to hit things. So with that thought in mind, I shall say fare thee well. Look after yourselves. Thanks again for being here. And I'll catch up with you next week. Cheers, everyone. Bye bye.